Hey, Lego guys, this is Lego guy back for another video for you guys, of course. We're doing another poly bag review for you guys, of course, today. I found this at my local Bricks and Minivix store, so shout out to them. Uh, this is set number 30653, Batman 92, which I'm surprised it's on there because this is Batman from 1989, which is kind of funny. Uh, 40 pieces, 45 if you were to add extra pieces included. Uh, the back of it, is, the back of it as well too. I also like that they have these here for when kids go to free for Legoland. Uh, pretty cool. Also, here's a look at your instruction booklet or a basic little pamphlet. And you see here's the Batman figure. And I'm gonna show, I'm gonna zoom this out, guys, for you. That way, you guys want to build this with your own pieces, which I can see people buying multiple of these are basically using these for mocks on a building. And uh, because the reason why I'm gonna show you that is, well, it's basically a gargoyle build on the top, which I did not recognize at first, but really cool. But let's show you this figure we have here. Here is like a Michael Keaton, a hey, hey, Batman, and um, the gargoyle build that you can see on there too. These are supposed to be wings. These are supposed to be the horns for the gargoyle. Really unique how they built this, of course. Um, you can see there's the side of the building as well, but a little extra battering too, which I think is kind of funny though. Uh, but there is Batman himself, and also, guys, we're going to show you him right now for you guys, too. And when you take off his helmet piece, or his cowl, we're gonna, there you guys go, sorry, there is a good Batman. And I do like that they have, like, a little bit, like, a goggle look on the top for his eye piece, which I think is still kind of weird because, well, they should have given us, like, the eyes on the cowl printed outside. And uh, there's a different style head piece, which is kind of unique in a way, so maybe you want to put the cowl piece on the other side, and that would be pretty cool. And also, too, here's like a cowl piece. It's all rubber, which I was not expecting. I do like this classic emblem on there, too. Uh, this is 89 Batman, which I'm surprised he's surprised he's going to be making his return in the Flash movie. But still, very cool figure. Uh, probably the cheapest way to get him, of course. I don't know if he does the same one, basically, from the, the Batmobile that came out a couple years ago. Uh, two years, I think it is. But still, very cool figure. And... Uh, Definitely, I think people are going to be going for this character a lot. The cowl piece is like the old cowls, but still very unique. And you can see this little jumper plate there, too. You can put him like, like so. And he does fit on there very bare, barely, but, you know, and you can have him looking out at a, at a sunset. This is also, before we close on this, guys, too, kind of reminds me of the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive that we got a couple years ago, something similar to this. But um, I think it's pretty cool that we're getting an 89 Batman because... Or they call it 92, but I think it's kind of funny because this is Batman 89. I don't know why they're calling it 92, but uh, it's pretty cool that we're getting Michael Keaton's version finally in Lego form. All right, guys. So hope you guys are enjoying this review. Let me know in the comments. Do you guys have this poly bag? Uh, I know some people are trying to find this wherever they can, but it might be a little bit scarce to find it. But who knows? But thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.